Welcome to chapter 29 of the book of Job, titled The Righteous State. As we go through this chapter, we'll see that Job is going to state in a, re in a retort to these friends uh, where he was at before he was afflicted uh, with these different uh, physical and uh, problems of his family dying and so forth. I'll read a little in the Greek, and then we'll go through the uh, chapter. But still, I'm sorry, eti de prosthes iob epe to pro emio. Tis an me thi kata mina emprosteni meron on me o theos ephiloxen. But still, Job proceeding, spoke in the retort, saying, Oh, that he might have put me according to the month before, the days which God guarded me. Oh, that I couldn't go back to the way things were before uh, these things happen is basically what he's saying. As when his lamp shone over my head. So he believes that at that time God's blessing was over his head and something happened that it, he lost the blessing. I would imagine this is his thought process. When I went through darkness by his light, he, so he went and says that he went through life in the dark times with God in mind, which is what we should be uh, also uh, doing the same thing. When times are tough, then we go to God, not to anything else. When I was in the days of my youth, when God overseeing dealt with my house, and he blessed him, many children and goods and so forth. When I was exceedingly flush, and round about me were my children. When my ways poured forth butter, vutero, you can add that to your English derivatives book, and my mountains poured forth milk. Galacti, we have galactic, the Milky Way, um, or galactic. Uh, my mountains poured forth milk with many animals. When I went forth early into the city, and they placed my chair in the square. So he was an important man that when he went to the town, they put a special place for him to sit with the elders, apparently, of the town. Behold, beholding me, the young men hid. Uh, like he's little kids. So this is an important man, and uh, they they hid and they, it just sort of uh, scared in a way of of who he was. Not necessarily in a bad way, but just like little kids are shy. And all the old men stood when he came. So there we see the type of uh, respect that he had. And the stout men ceased speaking, placing their finger to their mouth. So the stout men, the ones that accomplished a lot, would put their fingers to their mouth. And that's not saying anything. Here he comes. And the ones hearing declared me blessed. And their tongue cleaved to their throat for not having anything to really say. They, do, they declared him blessed, but they didn't say anything bad. For the ear heard, and bless me. And the eye, beholding me, turned aside. They, he was special. For I delivered the poor from out of the hand of the mighty one, and the orphan uh, in whom there was not a helper, I helped. So he did what God wanted. He'll help, help the poor and the orphans. May the blessing of one perishing come uh, upon me, for the mouth of the widow blessed me. So now he's helped the widows also. A righteous man. In righteousness I had put on, and I clothed on judgment equal to a double garment, sort of like a righteous judge would have clothes, and he was uh, not only um, 
wealthy and respected, but apparently a judge. I was the eye of the blind. So he took the sides of people that needed uh, help. The blind, just as Jesus did a couple of thousand years later. And the foot of the lame, which Jesus also healed. I was the father of the disabled, and I tracked out the cause which I knew not. Whatever he, whatever was needed to do, he would do it in the righteous way. And I broke the molars of unjust ones, and from out of the midst of their teeth, I pulled out the prey. Uh, so he found people that were unrighteous, ungodly, unjust, and whatever they had done, stolen, uh, um, embezzled or whatever, he was able to return it to the owner, apparently. And I said, My stature shall grow old as the trunk of a palm. I shall spend uh, with much li- I shall spend life with much time. So he's thinking that all this time that everything is going good. He's going to continue. The root was widened upon the water, and the dew lodged among my harvest. So the crops were growing really good, watered everything. My glory was new with me, and my bow went forth in his hand. And um, who is the he? Who is the his hand? I would imagine it would be God. Hearing of me, they took heed, and they kept silent over my counsel. Whatever he said went. At my word, they proceeded not, if he told them not to do something, and they obeyed. But they became overjoyed when I spoke to them. As the earth thirsting, favorably receiving the rain, so were these at my speech. People that want the rain for the crops, and it does start raining, and they're, oh, boy, they're so happy that it's now raining and everything, and they were happy to be around Job. A wonderful man, isn't it? Oh, we, only if we could all fit this description. This is what I was saying at the beginning of Job, that See, we see Christ in Job. Now, Job doesn't see, um, well, let's, let's continue here now. Let's mention this at the end, but what, what he doesn't see and we do. If I should have laughed at them, in no way should they have trusted. I changed it a little bit. And the light of my face was not fallen away. I chose their way, and I sat as a ruler and encamped as king among the armed ones, among the forces, in which manner in the in which manner of mourners comforting comfort uh, comforting now chapter thirty, the next one we see that how he's treated with contempt, so we see all the things that job says about himself, how he was earlier, and yet it has changed, and he is now remembering all his uh, ways earlier, maybe not knowing what's, he doesn't know what happened in heaven with Satan, and he may not see what the end is going to be. But we have the resurrection of ourselves, of our lives, to look forward to through the resurrect, death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. So, we, as we're going through and we see all these things that are happening, uh, we also could walk away from God, say it's all his fault. Uh, I did what I can. He's not really God and so forth. And you get mad and you walk away, which is not what God wants. He wants us to go through the test, to look and contemplate the situation that we are in and to remember that he has the best things for us but yet bad things may happen on the road towards uh, this uh, resurrection that we are going to uh, have in in the future and be with Jesus. So the next uh, video seminar, chapter 30, then we'll see how he changes and what happens to him 
uh, uh, afterwards. I hope you join us in the next video seminar, Chapter 30. Until then, God bless.